What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Pastor Dre. Just stopping by, man, to, to say what's up. Happy New Year's. And I also want to uh, do a little tutorial to help you take your online game to another level. If it's for your youth ministry, uh, you know, youth ministry website, church website, or maybe even uh, you got a rap group or, you know, you got a business. It's, it's time to take your online game to another level. And I want to see if I can help you out show you how you can set up your own website, your own blog for $1.99 a month, $1.99 a month. And it's uh, unlimited emails, unlimited bandwidth. So it's a lot of good stuff. So I want to see if I could help you out in setting that up. Okay, so let's get right into it. Like I said, I want to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can set up your own website, $1.99 a month. Come on, somebody. All right, this is what we want to do. You want to go uh, with, I personally host with iPage. That's I-P-A-G-E, I -P -A -G -E, <laughs> dot com. And uh, they only charge me, like I said, $1.99 a month. But you got to pay for a year in advance. Okay, so $24 uh, or $48, however you want to do it. I mean, it's amazing. So if you pay for it in advance, you get it real cheap. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. Uh, you just first of all, uh, you need to figure out a domain name. Okay, I'm gonna take you step by step. It's gonna be a little lengthy video, but I'm gonna try my best to break it down for you. It says here when you first start out to make a website, you need a domain name and a hosting account. Now, how to purchase your domain name and hosting, I'm gonna show you how to do all that. If you're serious about setting up your own website, the first step is to get your own domain name. The domain name is what people will type in the search bar to find your website. For example, mine is PastorDre.com. Um, there's a few examples. You got Yahoo.com, Google.com, Facebook.com. Those are domain names. Everything between the www and the .com or the .org or the .net. Okay, so you want to think of a, a domain name for yourself. Then after that. Uh, let me just give you a few benefits of having your own domain name too. Uh, you have your own domain name, it gives you credibility, helps people people to remember your church or, or your business. Um, even if you ever decide to change your web host, you can keep your domain name. Uh, if you're interested in having a sponsor, uh, interested in having sponsor, your domain name is helpful, like if you want to get sponsors and stuff like that. Uh, having your own domain name helps you to get pages like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. It helps you to get uh, rated on those pages. So if someone is searching for your site in these search engines, your domain name helps uh, helps to get you ranked there. Now, how much does it cost to register a domain name? Usually, if you don't get the hosting, it's going to cost you about $8.99, $8.99 to $15, depending if you get a .net, .com, or a .org. But the cool thing about iPage is if you sign up with their services, they include your domain name okay so now let me share with this with you about getting a, a cheap domain name because there are some cheap ones out there <clears throat> they might try to boost up the price on you uh, the following year so they might tell you domain name $1.99 but then the following year is like $30 so make sure you do your research before committing to purchasing a domain name now if you would like my recommendations for a domain name I would suggest ipage.com why because they include your domain name when you sign up for the service. That's pretty good, huh? All right. And it's like I said, it's only $1.99 a month. So if you sign up for their hosting service, they will include a domain name for free. They also give you tools like Weebly to help you make a website completely free. I mean, you know, to design your website. Another place is HostGator.com. You can click there also. But like I said, I personally uh, host with iPage.com. But you can click HostGator also. Uh, and this whole blog that I'm giving you is at my website. So if you go to PastorDrain.com and you type and see where it says blog right here, it'll take you to this blog. So you can even, you know, click on some links in the blog. All right. So I would recommend purchasing your domain name and web hosting at the same time and from the same company. It makes the setup process of your website so much easier and the activation time is much quicker. All right. Let me walk you through that setup process using the place where I host my site which is iPage I will be using iPage it's pretty much the same as with all web hosting companies as far as to my knowledge 
but I do know how to do iPage. So let's get down to business. All right, how do you set up your domain name and hosting account? You need to decide the name that you want. Think of a few names just in case your first name is not available. Uh, you need to keep in mind when choosing a domain name, keep it simple. Don't use hyphens like, uh, you know, pastor dash dre dash website. You don't want to do that. Uh, don't make the domain name long, super fragilistic expialidocious at dot net. You don't want to do that. Try not to use numbers because we don't know if the number will be one or O one E. So try not to use numbers and try to make it easy to remember. PastorDre.com. All right. To begin the process of setting up your domain name, you're going to click here. Like if you're following this blog, if not, I can put this particular link here, right here in my, uh, in the video link down and then it will take you to this page right here when you be taken to this page you're going to click sign up now okay and i would encourage you if you want to click on my link man i get credit when you sign up from from my link to ipage they'll hook a brother up so if you want to do that that's cool all right so once you click this link where it says click here you're going to go to where it says sign up now boom you're going to click that once you click sign up now you'll be taken to a page that looks like this this is where you enter your domain name and you check the availability of it. So you go to put your domain name there that you want to use. If it's available, then they'll let you know. If it's not, then they'll tell you it's booked. Okay. If your domain name is available, then you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. It's going to ask for your billing information and you fill all that out. Whether you want to pay with PayPal or you want to pay with the credit card, you could do that. Now, once you enter your information, you select check out. You will then receive a confirmation with your account information and your email. This information that you will use, this is the information that you're going to use to log into your iPage account. How do you get your iPage account? Once you've signed up, you go back to iPage.com and you're going to get a page that says log in right there. See where it says log in? You're going to click that. Once you have successfully logged in, you will be taken to your control panel that looks like this. This is where you want to click the simple script icon right there. Boom. Once you click that, you're going to uh, go to a page. They're going to take you to a page that looks like this. Once you get to this page, you're going to click on the Mojo Marketplace. Bam, right there. It's right there. Okay. Once you click on Mojo Marketplace, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. And you want to click where it says one click installs. One click installs. After you click that, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. Then you want to scroll down and click the WordPress icon. That icon right there. You want to click that one. Once you click the WordPress icon, you want to click where it says install. Okay. So once you click where it says install, it's going to take you to another page that looks like this. Right here, you should see the domain name that you signed up with. Okay. Whatever you chose. If it's, you know mywebsite.com or yourwebsite.com your that name is going to pop up right here you want to click that you should only have one because you've only signed up with one domain name i have a few but you should have one okay and then once you get there you're going to click where it says check domain name after you click that you want to agree to the conditions and terms once you do that you will receive a username and password to log into your wordpress account this information is different from the username and password that you use to log into your control panel. Because when you first signed up for iPage to get into their control panel, you had a username and password. Now you're setting up a username and password for your WordPress. Okay? So I hope it's making sense. If you have any questions, you can email me, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. I'll try to help you out. Once you have your username and password for your rep WordPress, you can now log into your WordPress dashboard by typing in your do new domain name followed by WP slash admin. Boom. Okay. Let me see if I can help you out with that. So it'll be like this. Boom. PastorDre.com. Say it. And then you would be WP admin. You would type in your name like that. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So that's how you would do it. All right. Let me erase that. Boom, boom, boom. Now, once that you do that, like uh, I give you another example here. If your website was named creatingwebsite.org, then you just type in creatingwebsite.org forward slash WP dash admin. Okay. And you got to notice that the WP admin has been added to the end of the domain. Once you do that, it's going to take you to a page where you could sign into your 
WordPress dashboard that looks just like that. Okay, once you get there, <clears throat> your WordPress dashboard, once you sign in, it's going to look like this. You're now officially into your WordPress, WordPress dashboard, and this is where all the fun takes place. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create your first page, and then we'll be done. It's not that it's not that difficult. I mean, I have a little bit of experience, but I'm going to try to make it simple for you, I should say. Now, how do you create your first page? Once you enter your username and password, you will then be taken to your WordPress dashboard. And I've shown you that already, and it looks like that. Boom, boom, boom. Now, then you want to click the link in your dashboard where it says Pages. Once you click where it says Pages, it's going to take you to it looks like this. You want to click Add New. Once you click uh, on Add New, you're going to be taken to a page that looks like this. And it's going to ask you for a title, and this is your content area. So right where here it says title, that's where you want to enter your title of the web page that you want to call it. Okay, for example, my first web page. After you go there, you stay on the same page, and then you go down here and type the content. Hi, hello everyone, welcome to my new web page. Hello world, however you want to do it, whatever content you want on this page. Okay, after that. After you've entered your desired content in this area, you want to scroll down here and hit publish. Okay, now once you hit publish, congratulations, you have published your very first web page. And that's it. I gave you all the instructions on how you can get your first web page going on. And this is a website using WordPress, $1.99 a month, unlimited bandwidth, unlimited emails, unlimited blogs. Uh, and this is what I personally use for my website. If you have any questions, send your boy a shout out, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. Come on, man. Get your youth ministry on the map. Get your church on the map. Um, get your business on the map. It's, it's time to step it up. It's 2015. If you still ain't got a website, you have no excuse. It's your boy, Pastor Dre. Also, I got a form, man. If you want to sit, fill out this form, like I say, if you have any questions, I'll try to help you out. Put your name, boom, email, and any questions you may have. Okay? All right. I think that's it. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's it. All right. It's your boy, Pastor Dre. Peace. I'm out.